Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is week three, and this week we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to discuss jQuery. So there's a handful of different things that we're going to get through, so let's kind of get started here. So I'll actually copy and paste this feature right here. And this one right here is going to be on how to hide and show objects. All right, so we'll start off with our HTML, and I'll do a head, and then I'll do a script, which we need to get the script here. So let me show you how to get the script. What you need to do is you need to go out to this website right here, uh, my Point Park University jQuery library, and go to this one right here. You want to download this. If you look on it this way and change it to soft wrap, you'll see it's a 3.1 library. So you need this library. So go out here and download it. So if you go out here, you can easily click on this and you should be able to just download it. Um, let's see here. Don't want to delete it. Um, hmm. Well, you can open it and well, I don't want to do that. Let's see here. How in the heck? Well, you know what? You could just uh, do this right here. Come down here and download zip and it'll grab that JS file from there. And you want to then put that in this folder here. So I already have it copied over here. So I'm going to open up this folder in the library. So if you right click on it and show in finder, wherever that's at, and I'm gonna paste it right here. So now you see that library is there. So you'll need that library in order to do this assignment. All right. So let's, uh, hopefully you've got that going there. Um, let's see here. So I've got the library getting back to my code. All right, so let's do script and oops, source equals jQuery. So you'll put the name of that thing there. I would try to keep it the same name. It's very important so that you know what update that you have. Perfect. All right, so uh, <laughs> the reason it looks like this is because we don't have it saved. So let me just save this so I don't forget to save it. And we'll call this um, hide objects dot HTML. That way we have some something going there. All right, so we end that script there. And we'll do another script here, but we'll just build the shell of it for now and put some code into it once we get to it. All right, so then we'll come down here. We'll enter a heading. We'll start our body. And now we need to have a paragraph. We need to have something that we're gonna hide. So I'll say, I'm Antonio Brown and I'm here. So maybe he's here one day and he's gone the next. I'll use that as a reference. And then I'll create a button. So um, buttons here. All right, so that right there is just giving you uh, comments. I'll do button ID equals. And whatever you call the ID is very important because that's what we're gonna capture when we do stuff. So I'll do hi button, oops. And to make things easy, you could either write that out if you like I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it down here and then I'm going to do show. Okay, and then we'll change that to show. And then we'll do body and HTML. All right, so let's save this and go out and see what it looks like. Now we have, there's not going to be any action events with it because we we're not doing anything with it yet. So to make things easy, I'm just going to copy the full path. I'm going to go out here. Just paste it in my browser so that way I could at least pull up what I'm working on. I'll go to hide objects. Right now I see, hi, I'm Antonio, I'm Antonio Brown and I'm here. Hide and show does not work because we don't have an event to make it work yet. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to write some code to make that work. And I, I think the first thing that we do is you know, we start doing some JavaScript. Um, all right. So. 
We started doing JavaScript and we need to do JavaScript that supports that. All right, so the script right here, I'll do document dot ready function. So in my function, I'll put a left and right parentheses and then I'll do a um, cursor right here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with dollar sign and in parentheses, we're gonna put hashtag hide. You wanna put a hashtag in front of your variable that you wanna call in JavaScript so that it knows it can access it. And then we're gonna do dot click because if that is func if that is selected, we want something to happen. So we're gonna say function. And we're gonna do another left curly brace. And then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna say P is the word that we're gonna use, dot hide. So that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to hide that object. Now, if we come down here, we're just gonna add the one for show. It's just gonna be the same way. We're gonna do hashtag show dot click function, same thing. And we're gonna do p dot show. Why are we using p? Because p is the paragraph. That's the uh, tag that we're using. So if we're using h1, we use h1. If we're using h2, we use h2. It depends on the tag that you're using. So it has to identify the tag of where to show or hide. All right, so let's see here. So I think I have, okay, I'm not completely done. I'm missing some stuff here. So I have this right here, but then I come down here and do this, but I don't close it out. And then I don't close it out here. So I think that looks good. We'll see if it works, so I'll save it. Um, all right, so let's refresh it, hide it. All right, so I must have missed something here. Let me go back. All right, let me go back to my code. What did I miss? I think I missed something, because this is barking. So let's see, we have um, document.read function. That looks good right there. Move that in there, that shouldn't be a problem. We have hide, that looks good, dot click function, that looks good, P, oh, see that? It's easy to make a mistake, I didn't see it, so let's take that out, we're missing that, so let's just keep going through here, hide, that looks good, that looks good, um, all right, so dollar sign show, oh, I put a dollar sign here, see, and I th think, that might be it. Show dot click function p. Yep, because everything is not highlighted. So I hit save again. Hide it. All right, let me see what the hell is going on here. Refresh it. All right, what am I missing? All right, let me double check here. So I got script source script document dot read function it's something that I'm missing uh, something simple I found it I think it is it's I think it's ready so let's save that I just seen that right there it was something I forgot to do so hide it that works show it all right so why show not work let's go down here I think I see why show I wanted to show it to you I'm looking for under lowercase and I have it is uppercase so let's make this lowercase Save that. Let's see if it shows it. All right, let me refresh it. Sorry, show, hide, show, hide, show. That was a little difficult, but that only took nine minutes. So um, we'll go through this in class. You guys watch the video. This right here is how to show and hide objects, video number one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.